If you're trying to grow your YouTube channel and want some help with your uh, things like titles and descriptions and so on, then this video might just be for you. Hello and welcome to Take One Tech. My name is Alec and today we're going to talk about uh, a little tool that you might be interested in that could help you with your YouTube channel. Now I'm not here to give you expert advice on growing a YouTube channel because as you may know, my channel's only been around for about three weeks, so I'm hardly the person to give you expert advice on uh, how to reach those millions of subscribers that you may be striving for. However, what I can tell you is a little tool that I've been using myself, which I found really useful. It's actually helped me um, in terms of, as I say, getting those uh, titles right, the uh, descriptions, tags, and things like that, and finding topics and so on. And that's something called TubeBuddy. Now, I uh, covered this in in a recent live stream so I thought what I'd do is I'd just actually extract that from the live stream and drop it into the rest of this video to save you having to watch the whole stream in case you're not interested but just in case you are then I'll link to that actual full live stream just up above because in it I cover uh, four other tools that I have subscribed to that also help me with my channel. So TubeBuddy is uh, something that basically it helps you with structuring your video content, finding things like tags, setting up your uh, channel page and things like that on YouTube. It is uh, your sort of little assistant, if you like, for YouTube. And I found it really useful in helping me set up those things, my uh, channel description, setting up the tags, things like that, that I need to have. Uh, but then also when I create the videos and upload them, as I mentioned, I make the videos in Ecamm Live and have them just automatically go to YouTube after I've finished or upload them to YouTube after I've finished. Uh, but then I need to go in and sort of uh, edit those things. And I'll show you what that looks like at the moment um, when you're in the interface. Uh, let me just get this little window out of the way here. Uh, sorry about this, one second. Whoops, I've got a couple of windows right where I don't want them at the moment. <laughs> okay, so... <clears throat> I'll go over to my uh, screen sharing. There we go. So now we've in, uh, this is basically the TubeBuddy uh, homepage. And yeah, you can follow the link uh, down below or rather just literally just below uh, in the screen here. I'll just take that off for the moment so it doesn't totally block out everything that we're talking about. <clears throat> but I'll put it up again afterwards. So yeah, this is the uh, TubeBuddy website. And I'll just go now over to, if I go over to which screen is it on? So this is my uh, YouTube uh, YouTube studio where I upload the videos and things like that. And you can see that actually TubeBuddy, once you've installed it, it is in fact a uh, it sort of fully, it, it comes across as fully integrated as part of the YouTube studio experience. So you can see that the buddy, the, uh, the buddy, the button, <laughs> the buddy button, <laughs> the button for it is up at the top here. And if you click on that, it's got some, uh, uh, basically this is how you access most of the functionality, but it does also have some links to some of the things in YouTube, which are sort of a bit, not really hidden, but they're perhaps a bit hard to sort of navigate to. So rather than having to go through, for example, if you want to go to your live streams, then if I was in my, if I was just in my uh, sort of dashboard here, then if I go to uh, content and then I go here to live streams. It's like a couple of clicks away. Uh, this is perhaps a bad example because it's not actually that deep, is it? But from here, basically, you can, there is shortcuts to different things such as uh, live streams, videos, your playlists, any comments, uh, analytics and all that sort of stuff. So it gives you some little shortcuts in there. But then it's also got these other tools. So Keyword Explorer, that allows you to enter a keyword and then it will tell you, well, let's have a look, shall we? I can even just give you a quick example of that right now. So if I enter a keyword, so uh, let me try Ecamm Live since I do love it so much. <laughs> it gives you uh, some examples there, but let's say Ecamm Live for Mac. And what it does is it will show you the overall score for that particular uh, key uh, keyword. So, and then it will show you why. So it tells you what the search volume is, but then also how much competition there is. Uh, and then the optimized strength. So how optimized the uh, 
the top ranking videos are for the phrase. So basically, you know, it's showing you how many people are looking for it, how much competition there is for it, and essentially how good the competition is. <laughs> and you would expect that the Ecamm Live uh, community uh, to be quite a sort of savvy audience since they are actually doing this. They are, are actually creating the content. So they will obviously have uh, quite a good insight into how to set this stuff all up. Um, but bear in mind, this is just one keyword. So you would use multiple keywords in your videos. And so, you know, you might, uh, you might not get a, the best results from this particular one, or I might, may not in this case, but there may be, um, uh, plenty of other ones. And in fact, here you can see related searches. So it will show you all the different plugins, uh, sorry, all the different uh, keywords. And so you can just go through and tick which ones you want and either add them to your video, or you can actually create lists of keywords as well. So if you are uh, doing, making videos or live streams about multiple different things quite regularly, then you can just uh, click them all and add them to a, a topic planner or a, a list, create a list, and then you've got that list then. So every time you do a video on that topic, you can drop them in. Uh, the topic plan planner, by the way, is just, uh, it's just allows you to sort of, if you've got any ideas, you can just jot down the ideas in there of videos that you want to make. And then you can add the, the, uh, tags to there as you can see there there is a, a, an app for TubeBuddy as well which is uh, quite good I only use it really for just having a quick look to see uh, the uh, uh, statistics of the channel and also it tells you things that you can do to improve your videos and I'll come to that a little bit later as well so what else does uh, TubeBuddy allow you to do uh, yeah, I mentioned the topic planner. You've got SEO tools there as well. Tag lists that I talked about. So anything you look at in the Keyword Explorer will come up in that tags list. Uh, best time to publish. So it will look at your videos and tell you when the uh, best time to publish is. Uh, and click magnets. I have to say I haven't actually used this particular one. Uh, ah, that's why it is a uh, beta uh, feature at the moment. Now let me just close that down. Um, so the other way that uh, I've been using TubeBuddy mainly, apart from setting up my channel itself and uh, the description and things like that and helping me to, to do that, what I'll show you is when you actually go to upload a video, uh, so this is actually already uploaded obviously, but it's a good example because I haven't actually gone into this one. I uploaded this yesterday and I haven't actually gone in to update the uh, details fully. So I have put in a title and a description, um, but what I haven't done is some of the other things. And what you'll notice is down this side here, you've got these tube buddies. So there's different defaults that you can, um, you can add. I've not actually done that yet, as you can see, uh, for things like descriptions and, end cards which are uh, where the video is ending and then there's different things that you can link to at the end uh, you can set those up as defaults and all that sort of stuff but what's been quite useful for me is this best practices so here it will tell you there's sort of nine best practices and it will show you which ones you've done so for example uh, make sure you've got enough tags so down at the bottom you can see the tags so it will show you if you've got enough tags and, and sort of prompt you to add more if you haven't. Added it to a playlist. So I have added this video to a playlist already. Uh, add the end screen. So that's the one where at the end of the screen when I sign off, then there's a little link that you can link to other videos or playlists or things like that. Uh, get a like on Facebook. So I have actually posted it to Facebook. And then the title between 20 and 70 characters. And you can notice that it does actually give you a little bit more information about each of those as well. So it's not just a little check mark. So yet yeah, the title is actually exactly 70 characters uh, by a strange uh, fluke. <laughs> so then if I show you the things that I haven't yet done, um, add chapters. So the chapter marks are those little things that you see on a video all the way through sometimes, which sort of, uh, as little lines in the timeline. And when you hover over them, hover over them, it will tell you the, uh, the name of the chapter. Uh, I'll show you an example of how you do that. Cause it's really quite simple. I just haven't got around to doing it for this one yet that I posted yesterday. Uh, add chapters, heart a comment. So, uh, just heart somebody's comment that has, uh, that they've posted. Um, 
then add info cards so those are the little things that i've mentioned today already which is when somebody says i'll pop a little link up in the top corner uh, then those are info cards so if you've got any uh, things that are relevant to the uh, topic of the video that you want to link to so i use that for linking to other videos of mine really um, then you can always drop those in so it's prompting me to do that add tags to your title so yeah there's uh and the thing about that is it's important that you do have you basically want the content of the video the description the title and the tags to all be sort of one cohesive thing so that from a search perspective uh, i guess from youtube's point of view they want to see that your content is relevant to your description is relevant to your title is relevant to your tags so here probably in my title use ecamm live and stream deck to produce videos on the fly no edits then what i should probably be doing is checking my tags to see if i've uh, got something that actually says that and in fact here uh, i've got use ecamm live with and stream deck so probably what might help is if i just uh, do this now in fact i'll just add that as a tag because i've got it the other way around stream deck with ecamm live so there we go if i drop that into there uh, typical there we go <laughs> so let's save that and see if that has actually just helped me uh, eliminate that one thing now what you will have to do is add tags to your title so if i come out of this and then if i go back into it again afterwards typical isn't it for a uh uh, demonstration things always seem to slow down to a snail's pace but if i go back into this one now what i'm hoping is that that little note there will have gone so yeah you can see that it is uh, it's gone so now there's now six completed and i've just got these other four to do i won't uh, won't bore you with those doing them live now uh, i'll go back and do those afterwards but in terms of those chapter markers that i mentioned if i go to something like this one uh, then I can show you it is a really simple job to actually add those in because it's basically just text all you do is you add text into your description somewhere and it has to have this format of a zero zero time with what that uh, is and then you just add in the times for the different things that you want chapter markers for and then whatever you type here will appear as chapter markers so all i do is i go through and watch the video actually watch it at double speed uh, by the way i recommend <laughs> watching my videos at double speed because when i watch them at single speed they do seem a little bit slow whereas sped up they uh, seem to iron out some of the pauses and gaps that i take as i uh, struggle to eliminate ums and errs <laughs> from my delivery uh, but anyway so yeah you just add it in like that as text in your description and then it pops into the timeline so that's quite clever it's pretty easy to do uh, the end screen uh, that's the other one that uh, it mentions or that i mentioned before and that's simply uh, when you've done a video uh, it shows you like you can position elements so for example this one here is my uh, little subscribe button and then i've got these two videos panels here and so you can see on the timeline uh, what is coming into there so here I've got it linking to some gear reviews and the latest streams and the way I have it done is this little outro animation in fact I can probably play it for you just quickly to sort of illustrate the point uh, uh, hoping that this doesn't stop the thing so this little animation here that I've got uh, basically uh, plays at the end of the video and so that allows me to give my little outro and if you just notice if i just play that quickly again you'll notice that these two panels come up first and then there's a pause of about 10 seconds or so and then or five seconds and then this panel goes to yellow and it adds on the subscribe comment and you can see that in there there are no videos or no subscribe button and that's because that is done through uh, through this panel so that is how i get it to come up with the playlists and the videos first and then the subscribe afterwards now you can go through and change exactly what videos you want i tend to this one particular in particular has um, two playlists uh, but what you can do and what i've started doing actually is having one video is just i let youtube choose it and it chooses the video which it thinks is most appropriate to the viewer so obviously if you have just watched the entire 
uh, playlist and then you didn't you'd, you'd finished this video and it was the last one there's no point showing you another link to that same playlist if you've already watched it so YouTube can just sort of suggest a video so I tend to have uh, latest videos and or if there's a particularly uh, relevant playlist and then let YouTube choose the other one and yet this is just the subscribe button that will pop up to if somebody did actually tap on that that would be a shortcut for them to subscribe so uh, that was a little bit of a digression because uh, you can actually apply a template in there as well with TubeBuddy so um, yeah I'm kind of getting off the topic of TubeBuddy a little bit there uh, but I will just pop up that uh, link again so that if you uh, if you do want to check out TubeBuddy, uh, the cost of that one is, let me just check, uh, yeah, $7.20 a month. But if you've got less than a thousand subscribers, uh, and I'm quite significantly less than a thousand subscribers, uh, then it's half price. So it's only like $3 a month. But I do think that it is um, certainly helped me in terms of at least almost learning how to optimize my videos or learning how to uh, populate the information uh, correctly and it's just a good sort of visual uh, visual cue as well to uh, make sure it serves as a sort of checklist so you can see in this video uh, I've actually done everything that TubeBuddy told me and it said all best practices can complete so yeah for a couple of dollars a month or three or four dollars a month it uh, it certainly seems a worthwhile addition to my list of uh, subscriptions I hope you found that useful and if you did find it useful then don't forget to hit the uh, like and subscribe so that you get notified of any future videos I make. If you've got any questions or comments about uh, TubeBuddy or anything in general then you can leave those down below as well. So that's all for me today. I look forward to seeing you in one of the other videos which I've linked to up here and until the next time have a great day.